This video describes the exponential smoothing statlet. This is a new procedure that's been added to Stack Graphics Centurion version 17. Exponential smoothing is a popular method for forecasting various types of time series. It's particularly effective when you're forecasting economic or financial time series. Exponential smoothing creates a forecast by combining new information when it becomes available with previous forecasts. Depending on the method used, there are one or more smoothing parameters that need to be tuned in order to give good forecasting results. This is a plot of the seasonally adjusted unemployment rate in the United States monthly between January 2001 and September 2014. We'd like to forecast this for the next several months. We'd also like error bounds on our forecasts. The first method I'd like to talk about is called simple exponential smoothing. We'll start with some notation. Let's let y sub t be the observed value of the time series at time t. A smooth value is created at each point in time by combining the observed value at that time period with the smooth value at the previous point in time. The smoothing parameter alpha determines how much weight is given to recent data compared to previous data. The closer alpha is to 1, the more weight is applied to the recent past. In order to judge how well a smoother performs, error statistics are calculated. One of the common error statistics is called the MAPE, the Mean Absolute Percentage Error. This statistic measures the average magnitude of the one period ahead forecast errors. Those are the errors trying to predict one period ahead given all information at a particular point in time. I've placed the data I want to forecast in the Stack Graphics data sheet. One column has the unadjusted unemployment rates. The second has the seasonally adjusted data. To invoke the statlet, I'll select statlets from the main menu and then exponential smoothing. The data I want to forecast are the adjusted unemployment rates. Month contains the time indices. When I press OK, the statlet opens up. The statlet begins by using an alpha value of 0 0.1. This obviously does not track the data very well. So let's make some changes. Let's go to the statlet toolbar and increase the number of forecasts to 12. Let's move the crosshair cursor to the far right so that the forecasts on the right of the graph are for September 2015. We can change the value of alpha using the slider on the statlet toolbar. You'll notice that as I change the value of alpha, the mean absolute percentage error changes. In fact, it looks like larger values of alpha give smaller error statistics. If I push optimize on the toolbar, the statlet will automatically find the best value of alpha the one that minimizes the error statistics. In this case, it finds a value for alpha of 0 0.99, a very large value. You'll notice, however, that while the smoother tracks the data better than it did before, the forecast function is horizontal. One of the, the limitations of simple exponential smoothing is that the forecasts function is horizontal which doesn't make a lot of sense given the behavior of this particular time series. There are other types of exponential smoothing that can be applied. Linear smoothing smooths the data and then smooths the smooth using a single smoothing parameter alpha. The forecast function for linear exponential smoothing is a straight line, not necessarily horizontal. Quadratic exponential smoothing makes three smoothing passes. It smooths the data, then smooths the smooth, 
then smooths the smooth of the smooth. It uses a single smoothing parameter, alpha. For quadratic exponential smoothing, the forecast function is quadratic. Like linear exponential smoothing, Holt's linear exponential smoothing smooths the data and then smooths the smooth. It differs, though, in that it uses two different smoothing parameters during those two phases. The forecast function of Holt's linear exponential smoothing is linear. Finally, Winter's seasonal exponential smoothing uses three parameters, alpha, beta, and gamma. It differs from the others in that it's designed to smooth seasonal data. Let's return to the Stalet and try a different type of exponential smoothing. The drop-down list on the control bar for the Stalet lets me change the method. I'll first select linear, which uses a single smoothing parameter alpha. Notice that the forecast function is now a downward sloping line rather than a horizontal line. I'll push the optimize button to determine the optimal value of alpha, which is around 0 0.56. Notice that the MAPE is less than it was for simple exponential smoothing. I can do even a little better if I use Holt's linear exponential smoothing. Now I have two parameters, alpha and beta, one that's linked to the estimate of the level of the series and another that's linked to the slope of the forecast function. If I press optimize, it now finds a smoother with an MAPE of about 1.87%. One more comment about the forecasts. Although they look quite reasonable and predict that the unemployment rate will continue to go down, the 95% forecast limits show a lot of uncertainty in what's likely to happen over the next year. The unemployment rate could continue to go down, but it could certainly also go back up.